everyone. This is a group of black women who were kicked off the Napa Valley wine train in Napa, California for laughing. Or as someone said, being too loud and having a great time. I found out about the story on my blog, zenny62.com, when it popped up here. Removal of wine train passengers ignites social media's firestorm. It should have said, removal of black women off Napa Valley wine train was racist. But at any rate, the article here basically says, it quotes... Kira Devitt, right here, as spokeswoman for the wine train, and she confirmed the removal of 11 women, 11, okay, saying that at least three passengers in the same car complained about the book club's noise level. If guests are being severely disruptive, that's when we discuss whether they should be removed, said Devitt. We don't make that judgment unless we receive a complaint from the people around them. Oh, brother. So three out of 11, okay. She added that such removals are not an uncommon occurrence, but she did not immediately have information on the average number per year. Of course not. Because you would think that <laughs> this is some sort of tony, luxurious affair where everyone is in a parlor car and they're nice and, oh, they're just so prim and proper and quiet, right? Kira Devitt, I gotcha. Take a look at this. World Ventures Dream Trip on the Napa Valley Wine Train, September 2011. I love being a YouTuber. I love being a YouTube partner. Let me enlarge this video, folks. There we go. Let me allow it so that it's full screen. There we go. Let's, let's look back a little bit. This is on the, the same Napa Valley Wine Train that the women were removed from. Take take a listen, the folks. Phone, you know, They're partying. The <laughs> the red I need somebody to tell him how to run the country. He hasn't been listening like that. We Look are at this, on folks. the wine train. There's Cindy again. <laughs> texting people. Hi, Dana. Making yeah, people feel guilty that they're not here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here That's okay because he was one of the people that was on the dream trip that organized it, right? And, but mostly white people celebrating one black guy. Great for them. So, did the black guy get thrown off the Napa Valley wine train? No. Did the white people? No. Were they making noise? Oh, yeah, they were making a lot of noise. I will bet you they're making more noise than the women who were thrown off the tr this train, who were black, 11 of them, and then three people complained. I'm sorry. That's racist. That's the bottom line, is that is plain racist. Oh, and if you turn around and say, well, oh, it's okay because, well, there was that black guy and the white people were, you know, being nice to the black guy. That's not the point, folks. They were being noisy. They are walking around the train and being noisy. Oh, and... If you want a, another example, if, you, if that's not enough for you, which it really ought to be, here's another one. Like I said, I love YouTube, okay? Here's another, here's another example. Let's go back a little bit. We can go to the, uh, we can go back a little bit more here. And, uh, ah, uh, we can go up a little bit more. And, oh, here we go. New Year's Eve. A wine train New Year's Eve. The Napa Valley wine train. Okay. Oh yeah, Midnight Masquerade. And all that stuff. I don't want to use the music, but the whole point is that here, and I'm going to turn this down, all right? These folks are celebrating a wine train New Year's Eve. They're having great food. And at some point after that musician, you're going to see the one thing 
Train goes up to Valley for dinner and returns Snap up for the after party. Which means what? They get liquored up, okay? They get liquored up on the train. They already liquored up when they get off the train and they're dancing badly. And look at all that booze. But, oh, it's okay because they're white. <laughs> I mean, the gall of this is just incredible. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Folks, there's Kira David on Twitter. I have found you, Kira. Drinking. On the wine train, Kira. Are you making noise? But they didn't throw you off because you are the marketing director, right? Or is it okay to party if the audience is only white? Or if it's mostly white people and they're celebrating one black person? Like the one drop rule, right? You know the one drop rule? This is horrible. Now I live in Oakland. I have never been on the Napa Valley wine train. Oh, and by the way, Kira, you say that when you went to China, you were 11, everyone touched your blonde hair. It wasn't bad, just strange. Let me ask you a question, okay? Why is that important? Why is it, of all the things you could possibly say on Twitter, you had to put out something that's vaguely racist? What you meant to say was, when I went to China, all the Chinese people touched my hair. So what? Big wow. And you represent the Napa Valley wine train. I'm just saying, this is on social media, okay? Just calling it out. Woo. The bottom line is this. You owe these fine women an apology, okay? An apology. Because what I have discovered here is that the Napa Valley wine train exacts a double standard when it comes to black people having a good time. Bottom line is, you don't want to see black folks having a good time on the Napa Valley wine train. Only white people. That's pretty bad. Clean it up. Now.